Let me see, let me see what's going on here today at the Red Eye Loft. Well, folks, Monday afternoon, and I'm about to get busy. You know, we talked about loft cleanliness many times. I've shown you my loft, the inside of it, when it's clean. But I don't think I've ever shown you the loft when it's very dirty. And again, no one's perfect. It's my fault. I haven't gotten to it. I've been lazy and busy and all kinds of excuses. But guess what? I'm going to show you what my loft looks like right now. So let me pause. Better yet, let me just pan over. Let me just pan over. And look at that filthy loft. But you know what? I just moved the feeder. There's probably feet in there in that pile of dry droppings. You see that, folks? That's the problem with having a lot of birds and you don't clean up often. And before you know it, you got droppings everywhere. Now, that damn near looks like kitty litter. And again, I can't stress to everyone out there why you must clean your loft. Health is one thing. Now, I know my birds are healthy, and I don't mind the loft getting a little dirty. Now, that's filthy. That's not just a little dirty, that's filthy. But, I will say this. If you stay on top of it once a week, you're not gonna have this problem right here. This is weeks, weeks. And I'm not ashamed to say it. I have had dirty lofts. Look at that, I have a dirty loft today. But before you know it, by the end of the day, it'll be clean. It'll be done. And this is the reason why I tell you, clean your loft. You keep healthy birds. You don't have parasites on them. Uh, I definitely don't have pigeon flies here. Pigeon flies will embed themselves in the dropping. They lay their eggs. Before you know it, you're overran with pigeon flies. But some people don't understand that. They won't do it. Clean your loft, dip your birds, spray your birds, and you'll get rid of that problem. For all those out there watching, come back and you'll see a clean loft. Peace. All right, folks, all right. Let me show you something here. That is my four inch scraper, it was on this handle. I took it out, I went out and bought a uh, 12 inch 12 inch blue steel taping knife which is just as good to use as a scraper in the loft and here's what I've done I've modified it I've modified it so I can see that I had to drill another hole offset take the handle off the uh, this uh, taping knife and mount it on here and guess what you're no longer scraping four inches of pigeon dropping you're doing 12 inches all in one shot look at this see that look at that there you have it i'm gonna be done very quickly here I'll come back to a clean loft all right all right here we go and you know the red eye loft is clean check it out birds are looking vibrant all the boxes are clean what can I say other than clean your loft you won't have no pigeon flies clean your loft you won't have sick birds you'll have healthy birds and today's the day I got to this so check it out folks, check it out. These are all the cocks. I got too many cocks, I'm gonna have to downsize some. You can see, Pakistani, pigeon jewelry. They can't mate, they're all cocks, so I'm good. I can house all the cocks I want in here. Serbian high flyer. Three performing, performing, oh, and white homer. New York Tony line right there. So check it out, folks. What can I say? Clean your loft, folks. To all the guys out there watching my videos, I too slip once in a while. But when your birds are healthy, 
you can let it go a little bit, you know? It ain't gonna hurt it. Now, I don't put feed down on the floor. I don't put feed, put them in the troughs. I don't put feed in the nest boxes. Put them in individual containers. That's how you keep the birds healthy. Clean water every day. This is an old guy right here. He's a 2014 black, a beautiful blue bar, Godzilla. Don't be camera shy. Yep. Here we go, Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. There you have it, New York Tony. I'm gonna get rid of some of these. I got plenty of those. I'm gonna move a couple of them out. New York Tony. Blue bar. My black. Godzilla, Pakistani high flyers, those are not leaving, those are staying, my black stay, I'll have to move some of these cocks out, they're just too aggressive in here, too many, that guy right there come from the peak, bonnet, bloodline, I may move one of these, move a couple of them really, there you go, look at that guy right there. Two cocks right there, beautiful. Beautiful, look at the mate, no hands. Look at that beautiful blue bar. Of course, my original black. Look at these two guys. Two guys going at, chasing, chasing each other. He's an old timer, that's one of my original pepper heads. He's been trying to nest down beneath the, he gets dropping down, trying to drive a cock down on the floor. Look at this guy, driving this other cock. That is a Serbian trying to drive a Tipler cock. That's okay, I'm gonna separate it. I may sell him, get rid of that guy right there. They're ready to mate, folks. I'll be putting up a video shortly of some of the birds I have for sale. I could stand to move a couple of the blue bars. I'll put them out there, see if anybody's interested. Can't keep them all. New York Tony used to say, close your eyes. Get rid of some. Close your eyes. Don't get too many. All right, folks. This is the cock section. All right. Later.